Hi, my name is James Olin, and I am the studio head for Archetype Entertainment and one of its founders. Hi, I'm Chad Robertson. I'm the general manager and one of the founders of Archetype Entertainment. Yeah, companions are a huge part of Exodus. Uh, we understand how important they are to players. They're super important to us. We've got an amazing diverse cast of companions that we've put together. I would love to reveal a bunch of them today, but so far we've only revealed one, and that's Elise. She was revealed to all of you on Valentine's Day back in February. I hope you like her. She's representative of the kind of diversity we have in the game, including some non-human companions that are gonna come your way over time. So non-human playable character, great question. Um, the answer is not trivial. It's actually a bit of yes and no. We're super excited about some of the things that you're gonna be able to do as a player, but because of that, uh, we're not gonna reveal all the details for a little while ahead of us. In the universe of Exodus, um, when talking about aliens, aliens are, you know, you usually refer to an alien as something that um, evolved on a planet other than Earth. Now, everything in the universe of Exodus has a terrestrial origin. However, they've evolved over tens of thousands of years, so some of them have evolved into incredibly strange, wondrous, and weird creatures that uh, are often much weirder than the classic aliens you might see in other science fiction franchises. It also includes things such as the awakened, um, intelligent uh, animals from Earth. There are all kinds of cool stuff that you're going to be able to run across, interact with, and, um, well, obviously fight as well. So, yeah, there is a huge diversity of species um, other than just celestials. Uh, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about the different classifications of them right now, but um, that information will be coming later on. So when we were first doing concepting on the, the universe of Exodus, um, we really wanted to have some great science fiction minds involved in helping us build this universe and also writing books that could uh, help support the universe, build the backstory. So we made a list of um, our favorite science fiction authors and put them into tiers of how influential, popular, and how much we liked them. And I think there was four tiers. Anyways, I was expecting I'd get lucky if I got an author from maybe tier three. Uh, I wasn't dreaming about an author from tier two or one. And Peter Hamilton was in tier one. And when I found out that he was actually a possibility, that was very exciting for me. And uh, yeah, we, we got him. And he helped immensely in helping us create this universe and make it much more believable and also scientifically accurate in a lot of uh, different areas. So it was uh, a big boon for us. I'm a huge fan of his. I've read all of his books. And uh, I've also read his new book set in the universe of Exodus. And holy crap, it's awesome. With the passage of decades in Exodus, there's definitely going to be the introduction of new characters in the game, but there's also a core that will be with you throughout the entire journey. That's really important to us because we want to build emotional connections with your companions, your loved ones, and other main characters in the game. And so you're going to see those evolve with you because some of them are going to go on your journeys with you and some will stay home. But ultimately, there's that core that you're going to see again and again and build deep foundational relationships in addition to new ones that you'll see when you come back home and in other aspects of the game. So we're super excited about unveiling that to players. Exodus has a diverse cast of um, strange creatures, um, intelligent, non-intelligent, and as I had said before, all of them have a terrestrial origin. That doesn't mean that all of them, however, are evolved from humans, as some of them will be evolved from what we call awakened animals, uh, animals whose intelligence has been enhanced, and then over the course of tens of thousands of years, um, they've changed into creatures that sometimes are in no way they, do they look like the animals that they evolved from. There will be creatures that are not descended from humans in the game, but they will be descended from terrestrial animals. 
Come on, you have, have to tease one. You have to tease one out, man. Just, just shout it out. They want to know. Uh, well, no? I can, I can say that. Um, no, I guess I can't say anything. Oh, <laughs> I, I tried. Yeah. I tried for you, but yeah, yeah. He's, he's too good. I think the coolest thing of this is the, the number of theories we've seen pop up about how Matthew plays a role in our game is exciting. Um, ultimately, <laughs> his usage in the game we think is going to surprise a lot of people in a very exciting way. Matthew's role in the game is a really important one. Matthew McConaughey's character will have a big presence in the game from the very start until the very end and the epilogue of the game. And uh, yeah, he's, he's just doing some amazing work so far and uh, we love that he's on, um, he's on the team. And uh, I think you, and there's also a twist with his character, of course, because you know how much we love twists. So, um, but that's all I'm gonna say there. The only um, thing I, I got to add, though, like when we heard the first some of the first stuff come back from him, I think everybody on the team got chills. It's amazing. We're so thrilled to be able to partner with him. Yeah, agree with that. So what am I most excited about uh, working on this project is just the amazing people that I'm working with and getting to see their work as it comes in. As I said before, Peter Hamilton's novel, when I got to read that, wow, that was just awesome. We have incredible talent within the studio and outside of the studio. There's amazing concept art that's coming in all the time. Um, the writing from the, the different writers that are working on the project is incredible. I'm just excited about working with these people. Just to give an example of um, how cool it is, for example, I'll, I'll be struggling with uh, a problem with the IP or the game, and then I'll just remind myself, I actually have it up on my whiteboard, um, ask Peter Hamilton, and so I'll send him an email I'll say, hey, Peter, can he you just solve this? this? He yeah. does do this. He does do this. <laughs> can, you, uh, can you come up with an idea for this for me? And he's he, like literally just a few hours later, I'll get this enormous, enormously well thought out write up from him on how to like, you know, on a new technology from the future. Where I'm like, how do you just come up with this shit so fast? <laughs> and you're just uh, on a different level than the rest of us mortals. Anyways, that's probably my yeah. favorite aspect. Uh, all the same things that James said for me. I mean, we've got an amazing team, both internally and externally, that we're just humbled to work with. But the thing today, the thing I'm probably most excited about is that we've actually got a fun game. Um, I mean, I was just playing it and it's, can't share too much yet, but it's awesome. <laughs>